class and welcome to the extra credit assignment. This is called the pig personality profile. Before we get started, let me introduce Penny. She's going to be my assistant for the day. So while she's not a pig, she's a pug. So sorry for the cheap pun. All right. So first what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take a plain, like an entire sheet of paper, a plain sheet of paper, and you need something to write with. So you need, some, you need those two things. If you need to pa press pause, go ahead and press pause while you find those two things. Okay, so now that you have your sheet of paper and something to write with, please take the time to draw a pig. This is where you're going to pause the video right now and just take the time to draw a pig. Alright, so hopefully you've pressed pause and you're not going to watch what I have to say before you draw your pig. So if you haven't drawn your pig, once again, press pause. If you have, let's get started. So, so now that you've drawn a pig on a plain piece of paper, right, and you've pressed pause, and we're going to go ahead and continue. All right. So you have a pig. If you drew a pig at the top of your paper, that means you have a tendency to be positive and optimistic. If you've drawn a pig towards the middle of the paper, anywhere in the middle, you have a tendency to be a realist. If you drew a pig towards the bottom of the piece of paper, you have a tendency to be pessimistic and might be prone to behaving negatively. Hmm, is that you? If you have drawn a pig that is facing left, you have a tendency to believe in tradition and be friendly, and you may also be prone to remembering dates well, like you remember people's birthdays. If you drew a pig that is facing right, you have a tendency to be innovative and active, but may be prone to forgetting dates easily and may not have a strong sense of family. If you drew a pig which is facing front, you have a tendency to be direct and may enjoy playing the role of devil's advocate. Maybe you like to argue. You are also prone to neither fearing nor avoiding confrontational discussions. All right, so if you drew a pig that has lots of details, maybe you drew eyelashes and fingernails and things like that, you have a tendency to be analytical, but also may be prone to being cautious to the point that you struggle with trust. If you drew a pig with very few details, you have the tendency to be emotional and to focus on the larger picture rather than focusing on details. You also have a tendency to be, to ha be a great risk taker and sometimes prone to reckless and impulsive decisions. Is that you? All right, so look at the number of legs that you've drawn for your pig. So if you have drawn a pig with less than four legs showing, that may indicate that you are living through a major period of change and a result may be prone to struggling with insecurities. If you drew a pig with all four legs showing, you have a tendency, tendency to be secure and stick to your ideals. However, others may describe you as stubborn. Okay, so let's look at the ears. How big are your ears? Okay, big ears indicate that you might be a good listener. Little ears? Maybe that's something you need to work on. Now let's look at your tail. How long is your tail? Does it have lots of loops? How big are the loops? The longer the tail and the bigger the loops, the happier you are with your relationships. Take that as what you will. So, to participate in order to get the 15 points extra credit, please post pictures of your pig and post this to the pig personality personality discussion board and I will give you 15 points extra credit. Also, think about this. Just because this study gives you a personality profile, did it match? You know, did you find this helpful? Or is it just because I said it that you go, yeah, that might be me. So with that being said, think about the power of words. Think about when I say something to you about your personality and I haven't even met you, how much impact that actually has. So until then, see you next week.